unlock the power of Power Query and discover how to easily extract news data from various sources using the News API. Join me as we will explore the features and capabilities of Power Query. From data cleaning and transformation to advanced analytics, Power Query makes it easy to work with news data and takes your analysis to the next level. Welcome to Data Mualim. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified for more interesting videos. We can get news data from many sources, newscatcherapi.com is one of those that provide free news data through an API. Go to newscatcherapi.com, create an account, and get the API details to connect with Power BI. We can find three different ways to get the news data in the documentation. One is search news next is sources and finally latest headlines. Let us get the latest headlines. Click on the documentation and copy the URL. Create a web data connection in Power BI and click on the advanced tab. Paste the URL and pass the API in the HTTP request. The exact header name is given in the documentation. We can get the API details from the News Catcher dashboard. Once the details are passed, click OK to create a connection and load the data. But we can see only one single row which looks like metadata. We don't need to worry, with a few Power Query transformations, we can see all the data. Before that let us see, what Advanced Editor contains. The advanced editor has all the steps in an mQuery language which has the source details and each step applied. Now let us select only the required columns and remove the unwanted ones. Select articles and countries. Right click and select remove other columns. Now expand the columns into new rows. While expanding, either we can select only the required columns or select all of them. And there we go all the data is loaded. I will remove all the unwanted columns, remember that these columns are not hard deleted it is just removed from the view table. Now let us also rename the columns so that they will have proper names and understanding. Let us also clean the source column to remove the .com suffixed in each row of data which is not required. Click on the split column and select by delimiter which will auto detect the delimiter. Select each occurrence and click OK. Remove the column and rename the column as well. Let us also rename the query with a relevant name. In this way fetch all the data from different APIs and transform accordingly. Now let us see how we can parameterize the source URL. For example, if we need to parameterize the API key here then create a new parameter by clicking on Manage Parameters. Pass the parameter name and the value and click OK. While creating a connection, create a new field select parameter. Now let us see the advanced editor to check the changes. And there we can see the parameter is added. Now let's rename all the queries. Once done, we need to combine all the queries so that we can create a complete dataset with the latest news. To achieve this we need to have the same column names to append the data into one query. Remove all the unwanted columns and rename them accordingly.
Once done, click on Append Queries and select three or more tables. Select all the queries and click OK. Always set the privacy to ignore. The data has been appended successfully, but it has been appended in the existing query. What we need is a separate query itself. Remove the steps created and create a new append query. For that, select append as a new query instead of just append. Rename the final query. Also, we can see the published date is not properly formatted and the data type is set as text. We need to change the data type to date time. And there we go the date is formatted as expected. One more thing to do is to disable the load of each query which is not required in the power view or for the queries to load individually. Just right click on the queries and disable them. Now close and apply. And there we go the final dataset with all the cleaning done in Power Query is ready to use. Let us change the data category of the URL columns to a web URL so that it becomes a clickable link. The source column has some formatting issues like some of them are having small letters, we can clean this in Power Query. Select the column and click on the Format option from the Transform tab and select Capitalize each word, and also select Clean to remove the unwanted characters in the data. Now let's close and apply the changes. The data looks clean and formatted. I just forgot to include the image column in the dataset, so how to resolve this? Simple, just go back to the power query and click on the removed columns step in the query settings and select the missing columns. The final query will automatically pick up the new column added. Rename the column and then close and apply. Let's prepare a sample report out of this dataset and publish it to the Power BI service. Now let us see how to refresh this dataset automatically. Once published, we can go to the report dataset and click on the settings to configure the credentials. Click on edit credentials and select organization as none, which will is not the right configuration, but still, I will select this to show the common error we get and how to resolve this. Now let us manually refresh again to check the error. There we can see the error, information needed to combine the data. This usually occurs because of the privacy level which we had selected as, none. So let us go back and change it to, organizational. Once done, let us refresh again and check the status. And there we go it has been completed successfully. In this way, we can use Power Query and transform the data from the News API and other data sources. Stay tuned and subscribe for more exciting videos. Also, comment below on which topic you would like to see my next video. Hope you like this video, if you have, please click on the like button. Thanks for watching.